you have a dog that um, maybe it got hit by a car and it was brought into your salon um, and everybody's in a panic what to do. One of the things that you might have is sanitary napkins. Most women in the business place have these. They're fabulous um, because they're thin and they're absorbent. So what you can do is to just place it on the leg or wherever your point of injury is. Okay. These are great for lots of things, but they're really good for this. And again, I'm going to roll my bandage on. It doesn't matter which way I go as long as the bandage is rolling directly onto the leg. Okay. I don't want to reach up and pull it really tight. I want to go over the, the, the end of the bandage onto the hair. Now I'm going to work my way back up. That way, that's going to keep it from slipping. And then, if you want to get fancy, you can pull, if you don't have tape, let's say, for whatever reason, you can pull this around. Bring it around. And wherever the cut is, then you just tie this in a bow. Okay? And then you slip the rest of the roll of gauze up under it. And I let it go and it got away from him. Cash is like, I am not hurt. And I didn't do this exactly right. Let me just go back here one step. Okay. You pull this around and then you wrap it around just like you were tying a shoestring and then tie it in a bow. And then you just slip this right under it. And that way, when the dog gets to the vet, you can say the wound is under the bow. Okay? The other thing that this does is if it is bleeding, it applies a little more pressure onto the wound site to stop the bleeding. So that might be a little more involved than, um, you know, tying the bow and all that. If you have tape or something um, to just put a piece of tape around it, that works too. But um, that's just the way we teach it in the CPR and pet first aid class through pet tech.